All right, let's go back for a little bit more. I think. See how far I can get. Pop, pop. There's some easy popping early on. Now look at that. That guy's level seven, level six. These guys are nowhere near my level. And there's a floor guardian. Of course, there's a floor guardian. A dead floor guardian, of course. And what did he drop for me? He dropped a staff, an arcane staff. We'll compare that in a moment. Uh, we'll compare this in a moment. And everything else is going to get transmogrified. There we go. Pew pew pew. I start off with a pickaxe, but is this one any better, I wonder? A little bit, I guess. Uh, that's even better, I think. Yeah, this gives infravision on it, so it's worth it just for that. versus the tier one. This gives a little bit of armor versus whatever else. Changes my light damage, gives me mana, psi, mana per turn, spell crit. This is not a bad staff to have, but I think it's better to have this one, Course Fall. Because Course Fall gives me the Bone Spear. I'll, I'll, I'll hold on to it just in case it's, uh, you know, the bone sphere starts to get less, less than useful. You know what? I should probably do this. Pew, pew, pew. Arcane power. Yeah, that's that's always been one thing I've hated about the uh, the higher class. They have such high sight range that they they can see stuff, but they can't always attack it until they move close enough to see it, or you know, for, for other stuff to see them. All right, well, there's our level out of the way. Pew pew pew. Oh, the arcane frost doesn't go through multiple targets, so not as useful. Pew pew pew. Yeah, my response to everything now. Freeze! Alright. Alright, they're dead. Let's go get a little bit more blast immunity and sight range and stuff. Yeah, you're gonna, you can get a lot of blast immunity on the higher, which is the one good redeeming factor I guess about them. Oh, this skill here, Overseer Nations. The sight range is nice, but kind of annoying, I find. Let's get this. 
Oh cool, it becomes a beam at level 3, so now I've got 3 beams. So this is where you like get the tri-beam aspect build, if you're like thinking about it. Basically you have this is a beam, this is a beam, this is a beam. You just beam stuff. Hmm. This may hurt. Let's start off with this. And... Oh, that's really painful. That was something painful. You die. Oh, everything died. Cool. Hey, corruptors. More. And electric eel. Whoops, did that wrong. I'm glad they have bone shields on them. Alright, what's beyond this door? Hmm. I think I can actually take these guys, because my level's pretty decent. Uh, burn trap, that's gonna be painful. Now, stuff I test out. Alright, good. So something about teleport that you should probably note is that you can use it in these like dungeons now. It used to be that you couldn't use these in the dungeons, like the actual vault dungeons, because uh, it just didn't work. Now you can. Alright, there's actually some nice infusions popping out apparently. Whoops, I dropped that. Didn't mean to do that. There's the black boots. These give me a stealth bonus, shadow power, grants movement speed for each point of shadow power. Um, more size category. Sure, why not? Let's get a little bit bigger. I could put this on, but whatever. Let's be bigger. Big. Me be big giant. Let's just pick this back up. Alright, so I want to cover some of this stuff. So that's got a cooldown 14, it heals me 108. Skills of willpower. Um, I think it's probably worth worth it to use this over that. And to be honest, it might be worth replacing this uh, healing infusion too. But I think I've got enough, you know, regeneration type effects. So I don't need to replace that. I've got this here too. Alright, this heals me for... 620% per 10 turns. This is outright weaker, so we can just transmogrify that. This is a little bit more powerful, but that's fine for a mana surge rune, I think. Let me just drop you. And 
Why, why, let's transmogrify all this crap now. There's a trap on the floor, apparently. The crooked club. Boom, so. Do it to type file. Oh, yeah. This, this is basically why I'm doing this, you know. Uh, going to these, like, you know, these, um, these vaults. Basically, the vaults, they're just, you know. It vaults in infinite dungeon have all these good gear, so if you're able to do them, you'll be able to get such a jump on, like, everything else to get so much power into the dungeon. Not a really big fan of the, the winter type file for revision, I think, here, but whatever. Everything else about really nice. Pew, pew, pew. Fun little vault. I've never seen this vault before. I wonder if it's a new one or it was like an infant dungeon. That's something I know about, by the way. I um some vaults in here may be infant dungeon only, perhaps, because they wouldn't be you know in the found main game. Or it could be that any of these dungeons are just you no know, crap storm drakes. It could be that you know I've these are just vaults I've never seen before that do exist somewhere. Pew, pew, pew. Oops, a Molotor. There's a Molotor. There goes a shield, so I can go pop like this. Back off from him. Let's go. Nice. Uh, so here's a great mod I've never seen before. This is tier four. It can use protect a melee attack out of range, dealing nice damage. Give you random gloom damage. Very interesting. Also gives you something called hammer toss. That looks like a new weapon that I've never seen before. Uh, movement infusion, not really great, not gonna worry about it. There's a really, really crappy healing infusion. I think I'm probably good to say we're out of here for now. So that's a nice little fault to find. I like that fault. Ugh. Closer. There we go. Uh oh. Protect the Reaver. Alright, he might be an issue. Or not. Pew. Pew. There he goes. First boss killed. Let's go a little bit more overseer of nations. A little bit more math frost. Um, this I think is probably worth putting on over this, so we'll do that. Oh, 
Oops, a golem. And a Norfield by looks it. Let's freeze him. Pew pew. Pew pew. Love how my freeze lasts a good long time. Oh, that's annoying. I mean, the nice thing about the higher is that you can see stuff. The bad thing about it is that you have to get so damn close for, you know, stuff to work. Nice hairy thing. Here's the thing, I don't know if um, my like, you know, Logitech stuff that's like, you know, wireless is having problems like getting his inputs out, or if it's something else. Zap. Hey, Degenerate Archer. Pew. Uh oh. Who's Master? There's a nasty effect. Silence! Can't use any of my spells for a little bit. I can't use this though, apparently. That's how the rob works. Alright, I find a thing of use. I found something better than my current non existent stats on the cloak. I really didn't need another bolt attack, so I think we're good without that. Now we'll get rid of this. Just moving right along. Well, I know you need to fight. Pew. Dead. I'll note, by the way, that the stuff is giving me a lot less experience now because I'm so much more overleveled in it, so... This stuff is level, like, 11, and I'm, I'm overleveled it, so... I get less experience for killing it. Basically, the nice thing about the vaults is that I'm able to, like, you know, get a nice jump up on my experience. The bad thing about vaults is that... I gotta, you know, wait for the levels to catch up before I can start getting, you know, decent experience again. Oh, Spellboy's, um, crystal. Thing. There's the Untouchable, one of my favorite items ever in this game. This gives me, uh, basically a, a shield whenever I take too much damage, so put that on. I can actually put this on if I want to, just axe. No reason to do so, but, you know, it's there. Yes, this is one of my favorite items. It basically gives you 
um, a shield equal to 100%, 30% of the damage taken if you get over, you know, hit for over 20% of your health. So if I was to get hit for um, 20, 40, 60, 70 life, I get a shield of like, you know, 70 times 103%. This will hurt me, I think, but let's do that. So that's something to note, by the way. Um, it used to be that with lightning speed, you'd always inflict a little bit of damage on stuff if it had lightning speed on with lightning damage because you can't go above your cap. But now I think it's been fixed so that um, basically how it works, when you put on lightning speed, you get 100% light, lightning, um, lightning resistance cap increase as well as lightning resistance. So it basically makes you immune to lightning for you know the duration of the, of, the, of the skill. I think it's a recent change. This will definitely be my last time playing a higher, I think. I really am not a big fan of uh, hires in general. The thing I don't like about hires is that, you know, they have like, you know, that like increased ability to see in ranges and stuff and it sort of breaks the optimum momentum of playing their character. Like it could be it's going, you know, tap, tap, tap on skills to basically kill stuff real fast, but then sometimes it's not in in, in range of my sk skills yet to do so. So it's kind of annoying. Alright, let's start with uh, a little bit of this. A little bit of that. Oh, of course, it's all the way down there. Ooh, confused. But I got this now. Zup. Nice thing about the winter type files, I don't have to worry about confusing much. I'm going forward to open that chest now, I think. Hey, Anique. Should be fun. Let's go... Freeze. Back up, just in case. Zap. 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 I think he might attack the brick there. All right, um, there's an Ashmont Clairvoyance, so it can reveal the area around you, displaying darkness, and attack the presence of nearby creatures. That might be useful, perhaps. Basically with this, Whoops, wrong staff. Oh, did I transmute the wrong staff? I guess I transmuted the wrong staff there. Oh well. And you know what? I probably shouldn't really care about this staff. Let's get rid of it. And all this stuff too. There it is. Oh, this is a wand. Okay. Let's wield that then for a moment. And 
And this one was a do. Alright, so this gives me sensing, which basically allows me to detect unseen things for a little bit. So apparently there's something up there. That might be useful for, you know, a little bit. I've got a Sun Paladin Rare over here for some reason. Interesting. Alright, so there's the stairs. Here's a nice thing about knowing that he's here. I can drop <laughs> this on and get his attention. Is he cursed? He might be a cursed sun paladin of all things. Yeah, he's beckoning me there of all things, so that'll be fun. Let's freeze him. Go pow. Pow. And let's do this. Pow. Snapping turtle. It was a summer, apparently. Not a whole lot to say about uh, this episode compared to the last one. I'm just moving on through and not really finding a whole lot. Made it to level 10. Got some orcs and our crap around here to deal with. Let's go... I don't know. Back up a moment. if you got closer before I use that. Maybe I'll go like this. Nice big hit there. Did that wrong. A little bit of damage that way. Uh, I'm not using a staff apparently because I forgot to do something. Whoops, wrong skill. Helps to keep my main set on. So something to note is I made, I think, almost level 20. But I didn't get to see, you know, the uh, the lore because I didn't make it to level 20 for it. Let's see if I can make it, you know, to level 20 this time around, I guess. Boink. A lot of dragons around, but whatever. Let's go like this. Maybe we'll drop that right there. Do that. Oh, look at that. More of these guys. Let's go like this. Pow, pow, pow. A lot of experience for all that. It'll be a little bit of time before I get to uh, Born in Magic, which basically lets me um, gain a bonus to the damage type I was using, but we'll have to wait for that. And um, I guess I might go after this, but it seems like a little bit of overkill to get. Just for a moment. Let's go like this for now, I guess. 
I won't need to, I won't be using shooting until I actually have a, a a ruin to use it with, but whatever. Let's get some lightning, I guess. So this is here. I'll start activating this when I actually have, you know, a ruin to use it with. Or some sort of shield. Pew. To the north. Of course there is. be any vaults or anything to finish off this episode. Alright, some fun to kill here. Zap, zap, zap. Luckily nothing's gonna beat that uh Untouchable. It's probably, you know, if you bar looking at um, anything but Randart. Randart or Artifact clothing. Oh, that's painful. Do that to him. A vault. Hmm. What will I expect in this vault? I think I've seen this vault before. Just can't remember what it does exactly. Mage, pop you with this. Once you hit all levers, I think a demon pops out. I don't remember this being as, as confusing as it is right now. Hmm. There... am I missing something? That closes that, you know, that door and this door and that door. I can dig into stuff, I guess. Oh, there's the Dwuffle then. Uh, I think that hurts them as you kill these things, so... Hmm. 
Whatever, we're just gonna kill this guy. Avoid that. Oh, he teleported, so he can do that. Let's uh, go like this. Wow, he hit, hit, hit with dual strike there. That's painful. Um, I do have a good shield on. I can heal myself up, but... Let's just get out of there. Ow. Here's the tentacle. Oh, he's right down there, apparently. Let's see if I can take him on, though. He'd be great experience if I do kill him, so it's worth trying to take him. Ow, oh, he hit me with Blood Grasp. At least I do good damage if they burn anything one. There we go. Get an unerring scalpel, I guess. And here's a decent movement infusion I might want to keep. Uh, this is also possibly worth keeping. So there's the unerring scalpel. So that was an interesting fight. Deal these guys now, I guess. Let's go with um, this. That didn't work. Go with that next. Oh wow, lots of fun. Pew. Pew. Well, the teleport finally worked. Basically, supposed to be able to teleport over here, like this. Whatever. Uh, looks like we got this vault again. All right, what have I got in here? We've got. Skeleton Magnus, Vampire Lord, Vampires, Elder Vampire. I can technically see everything, which is nice. Let's go like this. I don't know, please you. Burn them. It's pew pew pew. There goes those guys. Oh, I got frozen. Let's go like this. Kill him. Oh, I got confused. Confused again, because, you know, why not? Alright, let's try freezing you so you don't cause me any problems. Kill them. Go like, go like that. Oh, got stunned. I stopped burning, of all things. That's useful. Not. Um, let's go like this to kill the Magnus. Gonna have to suffer through being um, stunned for a moment. I fight this. 
Let's back up and let them do a little bit of damage while I retreat a little bit. Ugh, I'm on frozen again. I fit this then. Let's do that. Same with a giant rock. Pow. Pow. And boom. And now we go lightning, fire, mana frost, freeze. Some good starting spells for the mage. Let's kill him. There's a grave white. Oh, cool. Gotta kill him. Mighty Girdle, apparently. And the nice thing about the Mighty Girdle is that... It's part of a M. So now I've got size category 2, I've got maximum life. Really, really nice little set, you know, to have for early on. Oh, let's see here. Of this stuff, is there anything worth keeping? I'm going to say no. So, that'll be it for this run. A couple of interesting vaults in level 10. We'll see how this goes in the future, but for now, the run's looking pretty good, and I'm going to stop it here. Take care.